Dear friends, welcome to Bond with Arctic Chemistry YouTube channel. In this video, I will explain the part 2 of general organic chemistry. These are year-wise questions uh, from the lesson general organic chemistry. Identify the order of strength of uh, CH2CO2H, CF3CO2H, NO2CH2CO2H and uh, CCL3CO2H. Let's take a CO2H group. This is a CO2H group. And we have a CH3 and a CH2 NO2, CCL3 and CF3. These are the groups which are attached with CO2H. We know that as the electron withdrawing the nature of uh, electron withdrawing group increases, acidity increases. So if you compare electron withdrawing nature of uh, these groups CF3, CCL3 and uh, CH2NO2, if you compare CF3 is most electron withdrawing group, next one is CCL3 and uh, next one is NO2CH2. So the order will be CF3CO2H is greater than CCL3CO2H is greater than CH2NO2CO2H is greater than and uh, CH3CO2H. Okay, this one, this one has the highest value, this one has least value. Arrange the following intermediates in the decreasing order of their stability. Already this question was asked in 2019. This one is more stable due to delocalization of uh, electrons. Electrons are uh, 3 pi electrons in the phenyl ring. And uh, next to this one is more stable due to delocalization of pi electrons and next one is this this one is more stable when you compare uh, alkenyl with the alkynyl this one is sp2 hybridized this one is sp hybridized hybridized this one is more electronegative so the sp2 hybridized carbon can easily release electrons towards carbocation so this one is more stable and this one is electron with trying group so this one should be least stable so what is the order Third one, third one, next one is the uh, first one, and next one is fourth one, and the least one is the second one. So the correct option option will be C. Absolute stereochemistry of the following compounds is. Okay, here let's take proton A. This is the first priority, OH first priority, COOH second priority, and uh, remaining fragment third priority. Here hydrogen is below to the plane. When you connect one, two, three, and hydrogen is below to the plane. And you are getting anti clockwise, so the configuration is S. Let's take this one, first priority. And the next priority will be here uh, in this side you have uh, oxygen, so, but in this side you don't have all carbons you have. So this one gets second priority and this one gets third priority. When you connect 1, 2, 3, you will get clockwise variation and the hydrogen is below to the plane, so you will get R configuration. So A is the correct option. According to Huckel's rule, which of the following is not an aromatic compound? Here, if you take this one, here there is a delocalization of uh, these electrons, S electrons in this uh, So you will get, get six pi electrons. Here, there is no deloc delocalization of uh, these electrons. Since these electrons, uh, are adjacent to the double bond. There is no conjugation between uh, these uh, pi electrons and uh, the adjacent uh, double bond. So here you have only four pi electrons. Here there is a six pi electrons, three pi bonds, six pi electrons. Here also we have uh, six pi electrons. So according to Huckel's rule, the molecule should be planar and it should have six pi electrons. Even though this one is planar, the ring contains a six pi electrons, four pi electrons. So B is not uh, aromatic. The decreasing order of boiling points of the po uh, following compounds is as a uh, if you take the functional groups, so this one has a hydrogen bond. Here also there is a hydrogen bond. This molecule does not have uh, any hydrogen bond, and in this case also there is no hydrogen bond. But if you compare CN bond with CC bond, 
CN bond is more polar than compared with CP bond. So the order will be OH containing which has more boiling point since uh, there is a strong hydrogen bonding. So three and the next one will be two. And CN bond is more polar, so one is greater than four. The correct order will be three, two, one, four. The most stable configuration, 1R, 3R, 1 isopropyl 3 methyl cyclohexane is. Isopropyl group should be at equatorial position. It's a bulky group when compared with methyl group. So the isopropyl group should be at a methyl at a equatorial position. You have to remove uh, the isopropyl at auxial positions. So, let's compare these two. What is the configuration? First R, 1R and 3R. So we have to give numbering from this one. 1, 2, 3. So let's take a priority. Let's take priority. This one gets first priority. Sorry. This one gets uh, first priority. So this one is first priority. And next one will be, this one is second priority. So here uh, above the plane, you have these bonds. This one gets first priority, this one second priority, this one third priority. It's a anti-clockwise, but uh, hydrogen is above the plane, so the configuration will be R, 1R. And here also, let's take this one. Um, here hydrogen is below the plane, and uh, these are the carbons. And this one gets uh, first priority and second priority. This is the third priority. It is uh, clockwise, and the hydrogen is below the Play. So, this one has R configuration. So, the correct one will be A is the correct option. Isopropyl is at uh, equatorial position and the configuration is RR. So, A is correct option. Carbon based free radical intermediates are stabilized by the carbon based free radical is electron deficient species. So, this one is similar to, it's equivalent to, it's a carbocation. So when you compare the stability of free radical, you have to compare the stability of free radical with the carbocation, since both are electron deficient. We know that uh, in, in case of uh, carbocations, the electron donating groups uh, stabilize intermediates. So here, uh, which one can stabilize? Electron donating groups can stabilize. The hybridization of carbon, central nitrogen, and the terminal nitrogen in the following resonance structure of diazometer. So let's take uh, the resonance structure of this one. Here, this one has a lone pair of electrons, so these electrons can move. So these electrons move towards carbon. You will get another resonance structure. This is uh, another resonance structure, CH, H. Here you have uh, negative charge. There's lone pair of electrons and a single bond. N triple bond N. Since this nitrogen has, um, this one has positive charge, since uh, this nitrogen has uh, two pi bonds, uh, so it should be sp hybridized. This one also has uh, two pi bonds, sp hybridized. Carbanion, we know the hybridization of carbanion, it's a sp3 hybridized. So, what is the order? The central uh, carbon is sp3, this is sp3. And the central and the terminal nitrogen is sp, the correct option will be d. The electronegativity of carbon is isp. Okay, as the s character increases, as the percentage of s increases, electronegativity of uh, an atom increases. So if you take uh, sp, sp2, and uh, sp3, the S character is 50 percent days, and uh, this one is 33.33 uh, percent days, and uh, this one is uh, 25 percent days. And the ground state of carbon, this one has the least value. So, what is the order? The SP is greater than SP2 is greater than SP3. Okay, this one is uh, ground state carbon has least. Least electronegativity value. So, what is the order? SP hybridized carbon has highest electronegativity. The maximum number of cyclic structures possible for the molecular formula C3H6O is. So, let's take a three number ring. 
Okay, here uh, there is a OH. This one has a C3A6O. And arsenic containing three membrane, let's take. Here you have a CH3 group. And uh, let's take four member ring. This is the four member ring. Here, this one is asymmetric center. This one is asymmetric center. So here you have two enantiomers. So two are possible. This one is one, and this one enantiomers two, and this one is one. So how many structures are possible? The possible number of structures will be four. The decreasing order of the STD of the following compounds is here. Uh, this one is SP hybridized, more electron active, and the SP2 hybridized, and this one is uh, SP3 hybridized, and uh, this one there is introduction of a methyl group as the uh, electron donating groups increases as the number of electron donating groups increases, STD decreases. So, SDT is directly proportional to electron withdrawing nature of electron withdrawing groups. As the electron withdrawing nature of the electron withdrawing groups increases, the SDT of carboxylic acids increases. So, the order will be fourth one, third one, second one, and least one is first one. The IUP is the name of the following compound is here uh, the main functional group is OH. So we have to give numbering from uh, OH side 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. We have uh, 4 methyl, and it's, uh, the total number of carbons on parent chain is uh, 6. So the root word will be hex. And at fifth position, we have yin, and the second position, we have I, and uh, at first position, there is alcohol. So that's Suffix will be O. So the compound the name will be 4 metal hex 5 in 2 I 1 O. The most electrophilic molecule among the following is H2O. It has lone pair of electrons, it's a nucleophile. And the pi electrons, it is also nucleophile. It has lone pair of electrons, it's, it's also nucleophile. The BF3, it has uh, empty orbital, it, it can act as an electrophile. The absolute configuration of the following compounds are here. Let's give the priority one, and this one gets second priority, third priority, hydrogen at horizontal. One, two, three, you connect, you, you are getting clockwise, then hydrogen at horizontal, clockwise, you will get S configuration. And uh, let's take this one CH2, SH, COOH. This one gets first priority since the carbon is attached with sulfur. The atomic number of sulfur is greater than oxygen. So this one gets first priority, second priority, and third priority. Hydrogen at vertical. Clockwise, hydrogen vertical, you will get R configuration. So this one is S, this one is R. If the carbon-carbon bond length in benzene is 1.4 angstroms, the distance between carbon at one and third position is. Okay, this is the benzene ring. So hexagonal. Here, uh, this is the length A is given 1, 2, 3, and 4, four fourth carbon. The length between first carbon and second carbon is it's a bond length A. And what is the distance between first carbon and third carbon? This one and this one that's straight. The C1 and C2 length it will be root 3A and the C1 and C2 4 length it will be equal to root 4 here that is 2 here. This is the relation. So we have to multi multiply with the root 3 and the A is 1.4740. So you will get around 2.00 angstroms. So this is the correct option. The aromatic compounds among the following are the thiophene aromatic. We have sp3 hybridized, so it's a non-aromatic, non-planar, non-aromatic. This one is aromatic, you know. This one is not aromatic. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 pi. 6 pi bonds means 12 pi electron system. It's not uh, 4 and plus 2 pi system. So it's not aromatic. So this one aromatic, this one aromatic, and cyclopentadienyl anion. It has a um, lone pair of electron. There is a 
there is a delocalization of plus six electrons, so it is also aromatic. K, M, O are aromatic. The remaining are not aromatic. The decreasing order of basicity of the following compounds is here. The, we are introducing electron withdrawing groups. As the electron withdrawing nature of electron withdrawing groups increases, there is a decrease in base. There is a de decrease in the basicity as the electron withdrawing group the nature increases. And also here, uh, this is a reference. Here you have ortho position. There is NO2, meta position, NO2, and the para position. Here there is the ortho effect when electron withdrawing or electron donating group is at the ortho position, there is a decrease in basicity of amino group. The, due to ortho effect, the second one should have least basic nature. So in this, uh, this molecule has second one and this one also has the second one as least basic nature. Okay, let's compare second, third and fourth. We know that when electron withdrawing group at the meta position, this one, since the NO2 is meta directing, this one withdraws electrons. When NO2 is at the meta position, this one withdraws electrons due to resonance, due to mesomeric effect. When compared with the second one and fourth one, in case of second one, you have only minus i effect. Here you have minus i effect and also minus n effect. Here you have minus i effect. So here there is a decrease, more decrease in uh, electron density on NH2. So this uh, third one should be least among uh, this one, uh, among th uh, second, third, and fourth. But uh, since ortho effect, uh, second one has least, uh, next one is third, and the uh, next one is fourth. Uh, here there is no electron which is trying group. So the order will be. 1 and uh, next one is uh, uh, 4, 3 and 2. This is the correct order. The major product formed in the following reaction is here you have lone pair of electrons. Here also you have lone pair of electrons. This one releases proton. Here we have to identify which site is more nucleophilic, which site is more basic. Here the, there is a delocalization of lone pair of electrons. Uh, in this ring, but here there is no delocalization of electrons. So there is a protonation takes place at this nitrogen and compared with this nitrogen. So you will get the protonation at this nitrogen. So this is the product you will get. The decreasing order of dipole movement of the following compounds is here. Uh, this is the structure: fluorine, fluorine, and this one is chlorine and chlorine. These are electron which is drawing more electronegative than carbon. And here some there is a cancellation. Here you have this is the magnitude of um, dipole moment. Here this is the magnitude of dipole moment. But in this generation you have more dipole moment. There is a cancellation of uh, dipole moment. But if you take this one, fluorine and the fluorine, hydrogen and hydrogen. Here the electrons towards carbon, more electronegative. And here towards fluorine. So the net dipole moment is more in this case. And in this also, we have uh, more Cl and Cl, but electronegativity of fluorine is less than fluorine. So in this case, you have less dipole moment when compared with the second one. So what is the other second one, third one, and first one? So B is the correct option. The electron rich volume among the following is which one is uh, rich? Electron rich volume. Okay, as the uh, electron releasing groups, uh, uh, as the introduction of uh, electron withdrawing groups, so there is a increase. There is an increase in electron rich as of volume. Here you have uh, electron withdrawing group. Here also this one CO electron withdrawing group. This one also electron withdrawing group. But this one is electron releasing group. So this one increases uh, electron density in volume region. So this one increases electron rich as of volume. So which one is the electron, the electron rich volume among the following is C is the correct answer. In coming video, I will explain part three of general organic chemistry. Thank you.